Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I wish I could say I was surprised by the title, but unfortunately, I'm not. And a special shout out to our friends at the YouTube channel, Salt and Light. They put the original video together, and if you haven't checked them out yet, I recommend that you do. If you aren't familiar with the term grave soaking or mantle grabbing, it's the act of lying across the physical grave of a deceased preacher or evangelist for the purpose of pulling out the power of the Holy Spirit, a power that was supposedly trapped within the body upon the person's death. There's nothing biblical about this, and it's far more akin to the New Age and sorcery. We know that this is an abomination to the Lord and is not something to be engaged in. I, I want to introduce our next uh, amazing friend, new friend really, Lillian, and she is great-granddaughter of uh, the uh, beloved Smith Wigglesworth, we, who we all love. He's inspiring ah, us still yeah. to this day. Hey man, <laughs> Lillian, we feel Ooh. the fire. Yeah. And, uh, and we, 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 we see the, the gene that you're carrying oh. from your great grandfather and you're wow. carrying it so <laughs> well. My wife uh, has <laughs> laid on the grave of your grandfather <laughs> several times along with many of us soaking that anointing. In and we agreed together. Mm -hmm and partner together. Do you, do you endorse, preach, teach, encourage the practice of going to the, the graves of deceased men and women of God to try to suck the anointing uh, out of the no. earth? Absolutely not. <laughs> now we hear Bill say, absolutely not. Yet in the book, Physics of Heaven, he says, there are anointings, mantles, revelations, and mysteries that have lain unclaimed literally where they were left because the generation that walked in them never passed them on. I believe it's possible for us to recover realms of anointing, realms of insight, realms of God that have been untended for decades simply by choosing to reclaim them and perpetuate them for future generations. Not to mention, as we showed in the video, 12 False Teachings of Bethel, Bill and Chris are desiring the mantle of false teacher William Branham. Along with many of us soaking that anointing. We're so proud of you. You're part of this new generation of apostles. It's Miss Wigglesworth's grave um, in Bradford. It's up the, the other end of England. You might not be able to come here naturally, but you can certainly feel it supernaturally what's happened in this man's life. And it's funny, all of us students, when we came here, the thing that we felt was uh, that like the raising of the dead power and the gift of faith came on us. And some students were leaning over the back of the grave and they felt a grace and a faith just rest on them. And so we're just going to pray right now in Jesus' name. So we release, we release, other students who want to come in, we just release over the, over the camera right now. We just release the anointing of God um, that is in this place. And we pray that faith, faith, great faith would come on you. And we just release right now the anointing. Just take it now in Jesus' yeah. name. Because along with many of us soaking that anointing in. So remember that anyone involved with or supporting this kind of thing should definitely be avoided. But that's it for today. As always, leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.